This is just a quick tutorial on Google Chrome profiles in order to keep your account separate so that when we are working with multiple users on a device, um, they don't mix up when you're logged in. So when I'm in Google uh, or I'm in currently in a screen, this is our staff portal, but it might be a parent that's on Google. So I'm just going to type in uh, google.com uh, or .ca right now. You're going to see that uh, on this home page, I'm signed into Google right here. When I click on my information, you will see that I'm logged into Google. A lot of people log in and out and have many different accounts associated with this. Um, for our students and accessing the student portal, we really do recommend that you be logged into different Chrome profiles. That's different than being logged into Google up here or into your Gmail or into your Google Drive. Up at the top, you'll actually see that my image shows up twice. This is a Google Chrome profile. Google Chrome is the browser. Here is your Google account. A lot of our um, Google Chrome access through the staff and student portals rely on Chrome being logged into so that we can um, access any of those resources simply by clicking on them. We call that single sign-on. So if we click on a device, we're signed in because our Google account lets us. On a Chromebook, it does both of these, but on a PC, um, you might you will have logged into Google and logged into Chrome. When I click on my Google Chrome profile, it pops up and you can see that I have multiple uh, accounts that I can switch in and out of. By clicking on any of these, whether it's my son, other, other children or uh, board accounts, um, I can click on them and it will allow me to go into that one. It will open up a, sec a second browser page. So how do I do that? When I click on here, you go to other people and click on the manage people cog or gear. When you go in here, you can add person. So when I go to add person, it's going to prompt me to choose an image and add a name. And then whether I want, I usually click off, uh, remove the desktop uh, shortcut for this one, but it might be your preference that you do. So if I chose an image and I put uh, child and that, that could be your child's name and I click on add, it's going to then prompt me to go in here and then uh, get started by signing in. By signing in, that's where I would put my students, uh, OCSB student email address. And so when I wanted to, I could come in and always change and flip between um, child or other people in my um, household by clicking on one of these items. So you will have to sign in using OCSB student email or your own Gmail to make this uh, feature uh, work.